What's good, YouTube? It's your man BG Tech Life. We got the Pixel 7a on deck, guys, and I want to talk about thermals and performance after Android 14. We already did the battery life after Android 14. When we're done with this video, if you haven't watched the battery life video, go back and watch that. I did a battery test after Android 14. But today is thermals and performance. I want to share my experience, so let's get into it. Okay, guys, it's your boy BG. And we, we are aware of, there's been past problems with pixels and overheating and things of that nature that a lot of people had complained about. But today, I want to talk about my experience so far with official Android 14 on my Pixel 7a. So, if, you, you know, if you're in the comment section, just remember, I'm on a Pixel 7a and I'm using official Android 14. And I know there's a lot of different experiences prior to Android 14. But today, we're just going to focus on what I've been able to get out of this device since I have updated to Android 14. Like, the thermals on the Pixel 7a are just really good i have done so much on this device even this morning i'm sitting here with this device and i'm not trying to like in any situation a device could overheat any device could overheat you could pay four thousand dollars for a smartphone and i could put it in the situation to make it overheat so for me i always try to be realistic i'm realistic about things guys when i pay a certain price point when i'm using a certain type of device i have to judge my expectations off of what i pay for this device what type of hardware this device has so i'm not an unrealistic person at all but this morning i was doing things that i normally couldn't get away with when i was on my uh, pixel 7 pro when i was using like android 13 or the pixel 6 pro on android 12. i'm not saying i couldn't do them but i would do them but the device would get really warm and it would be kind of like uncomfortable in the hand and it would be concerning the situations that i was having overheating i was never really having overheat issues in any other of my smartphones but with this pixel 7a on android 14 i was doing a lot of the things that made this device tick i was actually gaming on the pixel 7a guys playing call of duty mobile with my xbox controller and it was very satisfying i played a couple rounds of deathmatch the graphics were decent the gameplay was decent i had a good time playing those two or three matches with my xbox controller on the pixel 7a so i finished playing the game because i was intensely playing the game running around slide canceling if you play call of duty and all of that stuff you if you know you know it didn't even break it didn't break a sweat it was a really good experience then i went from there to actually just recording some video i recorded about five minutes of 4k 60 frames per second i know you guys say oh five minutes not a long time this that and the third but five minutes is long enough if a device has an overheating problem it will show itself or if it, if it has really bad thermals it will show itself the device actually stayed pretty cool like pretty cool to the touch it's really something to android 14 that they figured out as far how android go to optimize it working with this tensor g2 it has to be something to it because the performance is way better i actually was able to something i was never able to do really on my 7 pro if on my 7 pro when i was on android 13 if i was to get in the twitter spaces and let the twitter spaces run my 7 pro would get hot it would get hot to the touch it would be noticeably hot today i was in the twitter space and scrolling different apps while the twitter space was going on this device was at at best just a teeny bit lukewarm so it's a big difference in the thermals and the performance of this device after android 14 i really would like to sit down wherever google developers or team at google was able to get the performance or optimization out of this chip that they getting right now i want to know the difference because i find it very interesting the pixel 7a on android 14 is really to me honestly running like a flagship because you gotta remember guys the tensor g2 is a flagship processor they just decided to put it in their budget device because they probably go is google's processor so they can afford to do that 
And with, with some real optimization, I think that they've got this process of running a lot better and a lot cooler. I feel like somehow, some way, they were able to bypass something that was triggering this processor and now it's working better. Kind of like the same way App was fixing that overheating issue with an update. It was just some probably a series of things that happen on the device that make it overheat and you gotta figure out how the device can do certain tasks in a way without it actually getting too worked up or irritated and overheating. I'm sure I'll be dropping a full review on the Pixel 7 a after Android 14 because I have to test some more things, but I'm just liking this train of this device actually being way better. And a lot of times this device is on sale for only $444 on the Google store. So this is your boy BG Tech Life. I'm having fun with the Pixel 7a, really getting to re-know it, and really feeling like Google was able to solve an issue that's been going on for a little while now. So only good things about the Pixel 7a so far after Android 14. The full review, like I said, will be coming. This is your boy BG Tech Life. I'm out. Peace. Thank you.